All right, Scotts Hill students. Uh, I want to start off this week, week five, episode five of Quarantine Report, with a bit of a riddle for you. So, a photographer, black belt, world traveler, chef, scientist, YouTuber, a competitive rollerblader, podcaster, investigative journalist, and retired Olympic curler all walk into a restaurant and they say, waiter, table for one. How is this possible? Because <laughs> it's me. Because <laughs> it is Summer Saunders. Welcome, Summer, to the quarantine. Oh, Summer Lambert. Oh, Additional my gosh. Additional last name. Wow. The alliteration throws me off every time. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. Sorry, Ryan. <laughs> it's okay. Um, yeah. Those are all part of me, part of my past, present, and future. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, so we're excited to have you here. Thanks for having um, me, guys. Yeah, yeah. It took us five weeks to get you here and hey. to think, oh my gosh, Summer would add so much to this. Let's have fun. Medium. But, um, you know, first of all, before we get into the stories today, guys, um, I just want to uh, remind you that uh, now on, from now on, we are asking for you all to send in your memes um, on a weekly basis. We got a lot of awesome submissions, which we will be covering today on today's episode during the meme minute. I can't um, wait. Yeah, and I'm excited wait. as well. Uh, so make sure you continue to send those in because we want them week in, week out. We want to be able to include content that you all create for us. So please do my job for me and make memes for <laughs> us and send them to us to the Scottsdale Students uh, Instagram page. And also remember to subscribe. If you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, you're crazy. Go down there, click subscribe, come back, and we'll wait for you. We'll so, be here. Summer, this was not an official story today. But we feel like you would have a lot to offer on this topic. So sure. if you're in the Wilmington area, you may have heard about uh, the myth of Taco Roos. Taco Roos. Um, Summer, would you like to enlighten us on your experience and share with the people what Taco Roos is? I would. Kids. Adults. Teenagers. Taco Roos is a play on words. The whole thing is a ruse. Okay. <laughs> Cookout owns Taco Roos as their first additional franchise. Okay. Of course, as an investigative reporter, as you can see, I had to go to the opening. I dragged Ryan with me. There she is right there. Yeah, that's my back. I told the reporter, if you use any pictures of my face, I'll probably sue you, so be careful. And he said, okay, yes, ma'am. So um, the entire Taco Roos menu is the cookout menu. It's, okay. it's everything cookout, and there's cool. one additional item. What else did they have? It's called a walking taco. Do you know what it is? No. It's Dor a Doritos bag with half of the Doritos pulled out of the bag. Chili from their cheeseburgers and ho hot dogs oh. put in the bag oh, with no. sour cream, onions, and jalapenos. Oh. It's so like a taco a soup? A walking taco. Yeah, you eat it out of the bag. I didn't even know oh. that. That sounds illegal. Yeah, it's two sixty nine. Not worth it. Also, you can just go <laughs> buy a week's worth of that for that yeah, price. You can make it at your house, <laughs> 10 of them for that price. They also have some coffee. Okay. Loose term. <laughs> <laughs> it's just bean water and Ooh. sugar. Bean water and sugar. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the whole thing is it's just an additional cookout location. Once they sell the other cookout location, UNCW, oh, okay. Okay. I think they'll make this a cookout. So <laughs> basically, what I'm hearing is it's not worth risking coronavirus no to go no. venture to taco roos no 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 are they open as late as cookout because that's the big thing with cookout no, they're not see i thought let me try this out so i zipped over there one night at like mm, 8 p.m mm. they close at six wow so this is for the people who eat cookout during the day yeah who but already who... have some issues but yeah but it honestly i wouldn't huh. not worth it basically is what you're saying not like, worth it just okay. It's it's a nightmare getting on and off of College Road as it is. It uh, is. So don't yeah. induce this no. kind of torture. I don't Note endorse taken. it, and I don't think you should induce it. Okay, perfect. Don't don't, <laughs> don't endorse, do any of that. Don't induce. <laughs> yes. um, okay, so we just needed a hot take there. Um, oh, it's hot. So <laughs> we'll move on to the other stories we're going to cover this week. So um, if you were here last week, then you probably remember we learned about an Indian police officer who was doing his part. Mm. to um, save India from the coronavirus mm. by making a helmet that was shaped like the coronavirus in order to scare families and children yes. from uh, leaving their homes. Are you going to so, tell me that we've topped that? Yes, we have. I believe we have topped that. Level up. Um, so this is also uh -huh. out of the wonderful country of India. Apparently, art really speaks to the people of India. It does. Um, and if you need to get your point across, you need to make some sort of modern public piece of art. So Larry, yep. if you could click over there. Um, an Indian inventor... <laughs> Has uh, revved up oh. 
a Corona car to drive home the lockdown. Whoever came message. up with this, the title of this article deserves a raise. That's true. Revs up Corona. It's got car. two. It's got two uh, puns in there. He revs up a Corona car to drive home. The uh, lockdown message. See, two for two. And they need to drive home. They got to drive home because oh they're on lockdown. My gosh, I didn't even catch that. It looks like yeah. a ride at a theme park. <laughs> where's the where's the windshield <laughs> that's a good question i feel like that would be um you know when you go to like a different theme park other than disney world yeah. and like the parades are really sad a little janky yeah that, this, this looks like a float <laughs> a this looks like car. a float at like a six flags <laughs> parade it doesn't look like people are scared of it though they're but just like, amazed if this by was it. in the wilmington like azalea festival parade we'd be like oh my gosh this is amazing <laughs> but like disney looks at this and they're like we could have done better Maybe the Azalea Festival people need to hit this guy they up. They probably should. He should like make one that looks like an Azalea for next year. They should. That'd be pretty lit. Yeah, What's so it say? there he is. Um, cars? So here's a quote from him, Larry, if you want to scroll down just a little bit. He says, people are not scared and are still on the streets despite the clear danger. He's 67 years old, the man who made this. Oh. My message through the car, the car art, is to make them understand that it is dangerous to be out on the streets and the safest place right now is the home. Is the home. I feel like this would backfire. Maybe not in other countries, but I know in like Wilmington, this is just like an attraction. Like you said, if it was just driving down the college road, people would come to see it. Let me get an Instagram of that. Yeah. Yeah. They would come outside. Mm. They would this is encouraging people to come outside of their homes. Speaking of coming outside of their homes, I slept here last night. I was so excited. (laughs) And I brought a blanket. That's why I have this. Summer is a level ten comfy. I wanted I wanted to make myself at home. Yeah, I mean, th- this is kind of our homes now. It is. Yeah. 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 And that guy lives in <laughs> his Corona car. <laughs> it looks very uncomfortable. Yeah. I have to say, like, is he, like, sitting? Like, is it just an upright I think seat? it's a little... Thing yeah, so I there. don't know if car is necessarily... Like, he might be kind of patting himself on the back a little too hard by calling it a car. Mm-hmm. It does look more like a float to me. I'm not sure if it's street Says legal. he's made cars shaped as burgers. He also holds a That's Guinness true. World Record for the largest tricycle. So this man, this okay. is not a nobody. Y'all yeah, need to look him up. If y'all are bored, you need something to research. There's yeah, something. Yeah, um, his name is y- Yadav. Yadav the inventor. Yadav the inventor. So <laughs> if you need to do some, uh, you know, at home bo- on board Corona research, maybe look up Yadav the inventor. Wait. What have I missed? Yeah, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, he, he helped w- design yeah, the he helmet was from the last week. Mind behind the coronavirus helmet oh, from last week. There's episode. so many connections. So look that up as well. The police coronavirus helmet in India. So, anyways, yeah, this man, he's uh, notorious in the world of uh, virus-related art. Good for him. Honestly, yeah, yeah. Oh, this was also his creation. that's terrifying. Yeah, that is, that is terrifying. Um, <laughs> art is important, y'all. Yeah, and art what is it, important. Something that is good about this coronavirus situation, mm-hmm. the humor has gone up. The humor has gone the up. The memes, oh, the we meme c- train. We can make a joke about anything It's today. awesome. People are actually using their brains and thinking. The creativity is growing. We're creating Corona cars, Corona helmets. So this is how we note, vote. note, don't let the the creativity stop flowing once this is over. Well, the That's last right. what was it? The last pandemic we had. Don't quote me. I don't know what it Ebola? was. In so, yeah, something in 08 or something. Oh, that was oh, swine U- flu. When swine Uber flu. and Lyft were invented, uh-huh. and Uber Eats and all that. So oh wow! That's knows? when the, that's where that came from. Who knows? I was nine years old you in two thousand eight. So what could come out of yeah, all of this. That's, that's all basically I'm the point. All right. All right. So. Next story, um, because somehow we always come back to toilet paper here on this show. <laughs> mm, um, but it's today, essential. Today we're talking about um, toilet paper that uh, is in the purest of forms. Oh. And this is a apparently a baking trend that I was not familiar with, but I read about online. Mm-hmm. Um, and bakers are making cakes shaped like toilet paper rolls. Yeah. Um, so I don't really know who, <laughs> who or why. Um, I'll tell you why. Yes, go yeah. ahead. Tell me why. That's Instagram. Mm. Instagram. I'm telling you, anything for a pick. One mom gets a toilet po- toilet paper roll cake for her son. Mm-hmm. Every son on the box is gonna want one. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of fondant. or daughter, whoever. See, the thing for me, it gets me about this is I don't like fondant. It has nothing to do with the toilet paper <laughs> yeah. situation. I just don't want to eat all of that. Is the cake good? You should read read the first paragraph under this little picture right here. Okay. Uh, the newest trend. That one. Yes. The newest trend in quarantine <laughs> stress baking. Toilet paper cake. The devil is in the details. Wow, that's extreme. White fondant replicates quilted paper in patterns. The inner cardboard tubing brings the cakes to life. And poo emojis oh, are sometimes no. added, leaving little to the oh, imagination. Oh, no. Wow. 
See, Grocery stores and bakeries are getting in on the trend. Some creativity is better left not tampered with. Yeah. Hey, if I walk into Harris Teeter and I see one of these, I'm gonna buy it. Do it. If local grocery stores are getting in, and on then the you trend. can use it for a video. Yeah, we'll put it right here. Toilet. If somebody <laughs> wants to bake us a toilet paper cakes, cake, um, we will put it right here. Is that our newest student challenge? Yeah, yeah. If you guys can make <laughs> a toilet paper related dessert of any kind, uh -oh. um, post it on post it. it on the gram. Tag yeah, us post it on the gram. That'd be fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <on> the front porch. <laughs> Contact free. Yeah, pickup. yeah. Contact Ooh. free pickup. If you leave it out for us, we will pick it up. Mm. Um, I like so, it. Oh, sorry. What was I was that? gonna say I like it. I think yeah, if, uh, it's I might creative. Use that well, as a we mentioned in the beginning you are a personal chef, an yeah, in-home chef. But so I maybe don't bake. not a baker. Not toilet a paper cake. You know why I don't bake? It ain't fun for me because I have to follow a specific yep. Yep. directions. Yep. If you're off by one ounce. Mm. At one minute, it's over. You gotta be very detail oriented. Nope. So yeah. I, like yeah. I feel to have that. A vision I feel that. So I don't have that problem because the only thing I cook is toaster strudels. So very <gasps> simple, <laughs> right to the point. Check out my Instagram highlight. Mm. You have some ideas. I have to do that. It's easy. So the next one is a is a smiley story. Oh. We like we gotta have a we I love feel good. Okay. You know, we gotta have a moment of warmth. <gasps> so uh, oh my gosh, aquarium coronavirus lockdown gives dolphins chance to meet a sloth. Look how happy they are. Wow. I don't know if you've ever seen faces. a dolphin smile, but that is adorable. Look at the sloth. He's like, what's up, y'all? I'm hanging with you. Yeah. Is he asleep? The sloth Probably. seems <laughs> more self-absorbed than it's the dolphin. It's in Texas? <laughs> yeah, Texas. this is the Texas State Aquarium. <gasps> um, so the aquarium, obviously, sad face. They're all closed, all the zoos and aquariums. They are. Um, but a benefit, and this isn't the only zoo that's doing it. I just really enjoyed the pictures on this story. But I apparently agree. a lot of zoos are t using this as an opportunity to socialize yes. their animal species. How fun. Um, to kind of broaden their experiences and keep their mental health up. Don't let the Rona get you down. A That's sloth right. can meet <laughs> a, dolphin. a dolphin. A sloth a day <laughs> keeps the depression away. That's true. You know what I saw? I think it was the Atlanta Zoo, but it might not be. Mm -hmm. They brought in all the shelter puppies oh. to the zoo to meet all the animals. All That's adorable. Isn't that adorable? Larry's. Uh, Larry's doing some, we'll doing some research. Research. fact checking for us. Mm. Mm. Um, mm. Oh, puppies explore puppies, Georgia, puppies explore aquarium. Georgia aquarium. That's what I meant. Aquarium. Look at that. Looks Aww. like your ad blockers on. Cool. Uh, yeah, you could click that, Larry. Click go. I don't know what you did wrong, but there we go. There we go. Oh my oh, goodness. No. Okay, cool. Cool. Continue to site. Yep. Click, click, continue to site. There we nice. go. Nice. Thank you, Larry. We can see puppies. Uh, oh. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> Never mind. So while the internet is not cooperating today, you guys can go look up that on your own, on your own time. We were all We saw so, it for a glance. We it was so a, a very second. very optimistic. Yeah, yeah, you got it, Larry. You got it's, it. Yeah, got yeah, it. yeah, one more time. I'm it's trying. all right. It's not your fault, Larry. Um, so <laughs> you guys can go look up the pictures for yourself of the puppies in the aquarium. I'm sure that's just as cute as the sloth with the dolphins. My favorite part of this article is it says below that the dolphins were trying to like mimic the sloth's pose oh. on the tree, like getting on their back and like putting their flippers up, like they were holding onto the tree How branches. How cute is that? Lyco. Lyco was even inspired to attempt an upside down sloth impression. Would you believe that? Mm. Mm. That's a wholesome content. Animals yes. are just amazing. They are. You know? This is what we need. Majestic we need more content creatures. like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. Um, so yeah, apparently if you want to have your hearts warm, there's lots of video and picture content online of animals meeting each other Fish. right now during the virus. So that's an, could be another source of a laugh or a smile for it you is. on your dark days. Um, so speaking of dark days, we're going to move into uh, <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> the uh, personal segment of the quarantine report. And uh, we got, we're going to stick with one question for you guys today. Um, and it's a bit of a doozy. A doozy. And uh, this question is, what is one thing you've done during quarantine that you are not proud of? Mm. I'd be happy to start yeah. um, first. Let's Let's hear it. Get the ball rolling. So, uh, guys, I'm not gonna lie. My sleep schedule, both the go to sleep time and the wake up time, <laughs> have shifted by five hours um, to the later side of things. So, like, whereas I was normally going to bed around, you know, midnight, maybe eleven at the earliest. Now we're talking like three thirty four, mm. and we're talking about wake up at eleven thirty to twelve thirty. But what are you doing? I'm well. I'm I'm still being productive. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not harming my own personal productivity, but it does make getting into work hard. Yeah. On the mm. work days, mm -hmm. like on the weekend, it's great. I'm really productive at night, mm -hmm. so I'm up late on the computer doing schoolwork, getting all the videos edited, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But when I gotta get up in the morning for a meeting, that's a no for me, dog. Yeah. No, it's not fun. So mm. that's my situation. Made a major shift in your sleep. Oh yeah. Larry, what about you? 
Ah, all right. So mine is less of something that I've done and more of something that I haven't done okay. because there's been a number of Instagram like challenges and I have yet to attempt one. <laughs> and I, I feel like I could at least knock out a couple of them. Can you name some of them for me? Um, the push up one, the push up challenge was one. It was like Don't a couple weeks ago. Don't do it. Ago. You know why? Why? Guess what happens? If you haven't been doing 100 push ups every day for a month and all of a sudden you start doing that, repetitive motion over time goes oh, this, this is just 10. Just 10. <laughs> oh. just, just 10. Someone and I saw it. Save you from Here's yourself. the thing I saw it and I was like, I'll try that. So I did a couple and the video like messed up. So I was like, I'll do it one more time. And it messed up. And then I just never ended up posting it because oh. the video kept messing up. Oh, that messing happened up. to me. I Ryan, up- <laughs> Ryan, I came up one day and he's like, I'm going to do 100 push ups a day for the whole month. And I was like, don't do that. It's not good for you. So you could shoot for it. So, but that's yeah, the thing. Yeah. Like, they're, they're easy <laughs> she challenges. She was trying to help you out of it. And yeah. she's like, they're, oh, no, it's just it. They're, they're easy okay. challenges. And I'm just like, nah. And, and then I just end up going, so just, I'll get, just get something to eat. just complacency is your shame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to be more active. And it's not just active. Like, there's just easy stuff on Instagram that yeah. I have seen number of challenges. And I'm just like, nah. Just be a little more participatory. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, as you guys know, I'm a person of extremes. True. Yes. So um, I have binge watched three or four seasons of You're Not Ready, Big Brother <laughs> on CBS All Access, where they lock 20 people in a house for 100 oh, yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like I resonate with that. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sure everyone does now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Ryan does not like it but because he doesn't really do reality TV. Um, but he does like The Bachelor. Hot take. Wow. Weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he he gets sucked into the storyline. I'd ask him about that one later. I'll, you'd need to. So his senior guys should text him and ask him about the oh, Bachelor. Oh, they already do. Jackson Mathis texts him about the Bachelor. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Exposed. Senior sure. guys are into the Bachelor. Oh, they would love. They they are proud <laughs> of it. Um. Okay. So that's the like one thing that I'm not proud of. But on the other hand, last Saturday I was like, yeah, it's time to be active. It's nice outside. Okay. Nice. So Ryan and I parked down near Rogersville, which okay. basically near Mayfair, mm-hmm. and we walked. Five and a half miles home Ooh. to Kerr Avenue, Ooh. which is where I do my investigative reporting of Taco Roos and the Cones. <laughs> and when you walk five and a half miles and you haven't walked that much that week, mm, my ankle was the size of a softball the next Ooh. day. Oh, no. So I was like, good job for you getting those steps, honey, but oh, you hurt yourself. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, I mean. So I need to just. At least you were being proactive. I was trying, but yeah. I wasn't proud of. I wasn't proud that my ankle was a little messed up. You just up. gotta pace yourself. You yeah, know? story yeah. of my life. Yeah, you got all right. it. Well, yeah. do we all feel a little bit better? We got these things off our chest. You yeah, know? I hadn't told anybody about Big Brother. <laughs> <laughs> well, now well, all of now, the Scottsdale students yeah. know. Now they know. Um, but you know why I have CBS All Access? That's actually what was a question of mine. Why do you have CBS All? Access? I don't know if I've ever met anyone who has CBS All Access. Well, I got it. I got it. The beginning of March. Okay. For one reason only. Survivor. Really? And then yes. now. And now I'm Survivor. home every day. So I catch it. But it's normally on Wednesday nights. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I'd always miss it. Which, you know, I and I don't know if this is like 100% true, but I don't think they're doing Survivor next season. Uh, you better check on that. I don't I th- know. I think you're wrong, Larry. All right. They're Blake filming The Bachelor in a resort. Five weeks. No travel. Nothing. All in I'm one place. Harshly against The Bachelor. Yeah, yeah. I'm but, not a big yeah. fan of it. Okay. But I'm just saying, if they can figure they out can how to figure do that. I, my hope is that they don't cancel. Because I enjoy watching Survivor, Survivor. too. Survivor. So yeah, I'm a big fan. If you guys haven't figured out Survivor yet, you need to get on that train. Because yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, every single season's on Hulu. Oh. Yeah. Just so you know. So you can binge that. Corona, Corona has taken... One. I think starting at season one, I don't know where it ends. There's a lot of seasons. One. There's a couple on. that's missing. Okay. That's why I got CBS seasons. All Access, but you can get like 35 out of 40. That's Corona that's has good. taken enough, enough from us. We need this. We need Survivor. Yeah, and if anyone ever wants to talk about Survivor, DM me or Christian because... Yes. Yeah, wow. I would love to talk Survivor yeah. with any of you guys. Anyways. Cool. Um, so Deep that's, dive, sorry. That's our personal minute. That's our story. I'm into it. Um, I'm hoping this like it's my job. I don't know if I need it. but Oh, I no, no, you're, you're perfect. feel attached you got it. to it. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's your lifeline. Yeah, it is. I'm like, wow. Um, so if you were here last week, you know that we challenged you guys last time to send in your memes. Oh, yeah. Um, and you all did your darndest. Um, so <laughs> three, of you, three of you really excelled. Um, Stand out. Yeah, and we have one honorable mention, but we had to premiere mostly and showcase the corona-related, quarantine-related meme. So we're okay. going to start with their honorable mention, Larry. Uh, this one is from this. Uh, Ryland Todd um, right here. Nope, go back. Tom and Jerry right there. So this is a great instance of millennial humor, um, but we, all, we chuckled at it, all of us that saw it beforehand. Um, so me. me goes for a swim. 
everyone else in the nuclear power plant. Oh, hmm. <laughs> it took me a second. Hmm. I was like, why? Like so for those of you who don't know, yeah. there are large, tall, like giant things of water in nuclear power plants, and you should not swim in them. Oh, no. Well, you're not um, going to be in a well, nuclear yeah. power plant. Yeah, anyway. but if you ever find yourself... Yeah. Don't swim in This is also how a number of superhero movies have started, though. That's started true. Started and ended. And, and ended. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, it's not so a coin Ryland, toss I want to take. Ryland, we're not sure you understood the prompt from last week, because <laughs> this isn't virus-related, but we appreciated your effort so much, um, and we would love for you to channel that effort into making a coronavirus meme mm-hmm. for us for next week, because yeah. we're sure it would win out of all of them. Quarantine content. That's right. Quarantine content. So, Larry, we, next we have a video um, from Jonathan Hayes. Oh, um, yeah. And this is a great quarantine related one. I think we can all relate to this. So go ahead, Larry. Call me Rice Krispies. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> man, look at that face. That is the face of a man who's about to snap I'm right about there. To snap. Yeah. <laughs> Just one more time. One more time. I love how serious he is rubbing his neck. <laughs> yeah, Jonathan. <laughs> If you don't follow Jonathan on Instagram, you need to. Or apparently TikTok at a young, young chest, chest cavity. <laughs> <laughs> he is one of the most underrated funny people that we have in this well, ministry. We're going to make sure that he Easily. is rated highly. Well, thank you, Jonathan, very much for this because we all laughed at it and just laughed at it again. Oh, man, that was good. <laughs> so, all right. Next meme, Larry. Uh, I think this one's from my sister, Mary Alice Brinkley. <laughs> mm, what a classy gal. So, Again, an office meme. Yeah, and office every meme, week, every meme. Uh, I re- I laugh so hard at this. I might be um, a little biased because I love The Office, but uh, start of March, halfway in, beginning of April. Feel like I'm dying inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, but it's not true when we're here because we're all happy no. to be here. Yeah, um, yeah. We're happy to make this content for you guys, and we hope you guys are enjoying it. But I'm not gonna lie and say like sometimes when I'm at home and it is 3:30 a.m. and I'm still doing my schoolwork, I'm like, what am I doing? Lonely, I miss the lonely. Good throwback. You know? um, mm. So it's real. I feel that. Thank you, Mary Alice, for your contribution. Mm. The many faces of Michael Scott. Mm, mm, mm. All right. Last but not least, Larry. Oh, I can't wait. This I one from seen Rachel it. Todd. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes. 10 out of 10. <laughs> is that a screenshot from it the must Easter be from message? The message. <laughs> this is a qu- quick turnaround with that this meme right here. All his disciples. Yeet. Shout out to uh, <laughs> Senior Pastor Phil there, uh, preaching the word. He and, will uh, love that he's a meme. Rachel, Rachel caught his expression in a very e- fortunate or unfortunate moment, depending fortunate. on your <laughs> perspective. I'm going to go with fortunate. This could turn yes. into a Super Bowl meme real quick, too. That's true. That's true. <laughs> we'll bring that back. Thank Let's you, Rachel. Go. Thank you, Rachel. I loved this. As soon as I saw this, I said, it is going to be the last meme because we save the best for last here. Yeah. That's what we do here on this show. Yes. Um, and Jesus, you know what? Shout out shout out shout out to jesus just in general but also i mean yeah also yesterday for the anniversary of him uh rising from the dead and defeating the grave i've never um, heard easter referred to as, as the anniversary, anniversary of him well rising any, everything's an anniversary larry every year it's the anniversary yeah, every monday is an anniversary of the last one <laughs> <laughs> so bad but so all right, good going off the rails i'm sorry all right i consider it to be the anniversary no no i'm kidding oh, yeah. um but yeah so you know what? That's a great way to end the show, I think, because, yeah. you know, that's a recap of I hope you guys enjoyed your Easter. Wow. Um, it's a great meme to end it on on this week's rendition of the Meme Minute. Um, Speaking of Meme Minute. Yeah. You guys, the meme train can't go on without you. No. So we really need, I don't know what camera to look at or who to look at. We need you to submit your memes. The bar has submit been set high. I'm impressed by the these. The bar first, was set high. Considering week. you guys got your reminder not until Saturday afternoon, you yeah. guys killed it yeah. so it. i want to see Just you step it, it up i want uh to see lots more memes on the show next week and mm-hmm. for every week following so crush it guys get to work yeah love it guys. keep washing your hands stay inside that's right all right guys enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you right back here same time next week <laughs> on the anniversary of quarantine on the anniversary <laughs> of the quarantine report nice